She finished last at the 1924 Olympics at the age of 11, but went on to win gold medals in the next three Olympic Games. She left her native Norway to become a Hollywood star, though her desire for wealth and fame offended many around her. She was beauty in motion and a hot-tempered prima donna. She was Sonja Henne, the Queen of Ice. Sonja was born in Oslo, Norway in 1912, the favored child of Wilhelm Henne. Papa Henne, as he was known, was a wealthy furrier who doted on the young Sonja while pushing her to excel in figure skating. Her father was always saying, meet Sonja, the world's champion, the best there ever is, or ever will be. At the 1928 San Moritz Olympics, the 15-year-old Sonia Henning displayed an artistic flair never before seen in Olympic competition. There, she won her first gold medal. She had a gracefulness. Uh, she was like uh, some kind of fairy on the ice. In 1932, at the Lake Placid Games, Sonia amazed the crowds once more, winning her second Olympic title. By this time, Sonia was a star not only in her homeland of Norway, but throughout the world. This is a good opportunity for me to send my greetings to my American public and also thank them for a beautiful car. The 1936 Olympics held in Germany only heightened the world's adoration for Sonia. She captured her third consecutive gold medal at age 23, something no one is yet to equal. She was the favorite of all Norwegians. In my life, there are three Sonjas. There's my wife, the Queen of Norway, which is also Sonja, and Sonja Henny. But at those games, rumors spread regarding Sonja's alleged romantic involvement with German Chancellor Adolf Hitler. And then she went and did a Hitler salute during the Olympic Games. And shook hands with Hitler, and then she was invited to his Berchtesgaden Garden home up on the hill. And she became his, everybody said, his girlfriend. To this day, there is disagreement about the extent of their relationship. Many speculate that Hitler was just one more stepping stone for Sonia, another path to even greater fame. And she was just like two people, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. She was a beautiful little doll on the ice, and she really knew how to perform. But the split second she was off the ice, she was like two people. She was very nasty, very selfish. She was not a very complicated personality. She was very outspoken. She was very straightforward. She did not uh, hide her uh, vulgarity at times. After the 1936 Olympic Games, Sonia turned her Olympic gold into money, touring the United States in ice shows. <laughs> Chicago Stadium never had a prettier show, and this first night her audience, restricted to servicemen, their mothers, wives, or sweethearts, is a 22,000 jam-packed cheering section for Sonia Haney's Hollywood Ice Review. And just twixt you and me, an ice travaganza to top them all, with a star of the show, Sonia Haney, and her leading man, Buford McCusker, never in better form. traditional hula dance comes in for the Sonia Haney treatment, and how the ice withstands this tar and terpsichore is something we wouldn't know. In 1937, her father was instrumental in persuading 20th Century Fox to sign Sonia to a contract for over $200,000. Her first film, One in a Million with Donna Michi, proved Sonia could transform her skating routines to the big screen. Sonia would go on to make 11 movies in 12 years, including her famous Sun Valley Serenade. And in 1939, she was ranked as the third most popular movie star behind Clark Gable and Shirley Temple. Sonia was one of America's sweethearts, romantically linked with many of the leading men of her time, including Tyrone Power. Sonia seemingly had everything she desired, men, money, jewels, furs, and fame. She had millions of dollars worth of jewelry. She was crazy about jewelry. Much worse than Elizabeth Taylor. She was through and through a very genuine woman. And she could be very uh, full of uh, sympathy. She took good care of people that came to visit her. But of course, she, uh, she could be very vulgar. And uh, also that I liked very much. <laughs> she had the... Uh, the language of the streets here in Oslo. 
Sonia Henny died of leukemia in 1969 at the age of 57 en route to her native Norway. Sonia is many things to many people. Above all, Sonia Henny is one of the finest figure skaters the world has ever seen. An athlete whose artistic grace and flair made her sport the marquee event it is today. A skater whose name is synonymous with perfection. A woman forever blessed with the title Queen of Ice. And how's this for life imitating art or vice versa? Henny's co-star in the movie The Countess of Monte Cristo, Michael Kirby, is planning a film about Sonia Henny's life. His plan? To ask Tanya Harding to play Henny because Kirby sees similarities in the two skaters' personalities. Well, coming up, it was a rollicking night on the 